it is Wellness Wednesday this morning. Art therapy helps people use creativity and self-expression to support their mental health. And for health and wellness coach Kira Anderson, it has shifted her pain into purpose. So here to share more about the power of art is friend of the show, Kira Anderson. Kira, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Okay, so this is remarkable because I was just asking you about your journey with art. If you would look at her paintings, you would think that Kira's been painting for years and years in your entire life. So why don't we just talk about how you found this? Yeah, so um, my husband was diagnosed with stage four pancreatic cancer in October of 2021. Um, we had three small children and a whole life ahead of us. And um, it was very difficult, you know, it was difficult to accept. And I literally was aimlessly walking through Michael's one day and saw some a book about paint pouring and picked up all the supplies and just started paint pouring and didn't stop. Okay, and, and that really just shows, right, the power maybe of, of a hobby and, and doing Absolutely. something to kind of let your mind be at ease. Absolutely, and so for me, I was able to go be my be by myself and release some mm -hmm. of that anger and sadness and anxiety mm -hmm. um, it really was a reprieve for me and like you said Mary hobbies are so important for all of us um, mm -hmm. maybe it's not paint pouring maybe it's yoga or cross stitch or whatever you can do to help kind of create that um, sort of space in your mind in your body it, it there's crazy benefits mm -hmm, to of having course. hobbies. And now we had you on the show very recently after Kyle had passed and yes. even now to this day still very recently and what I, I love about what you've done every time you're on the show you're here to teach us how to be healthier physically mentally because you've seen how powerful brains and bodies how important that is absolutely. to take care of yourself. Absolutely and you know anyone who's lost someone close noses just noses <laughs> knows um, just how you know, awful it is to lose yeah. somebody. And I really believe, and even before Kyle's diagnosis, mm -hmm. believe that our bodies are gifts. And if we treat our mind and our bodies well, that they will pay us back yes. tenfold, so. And now there are ways that we're, we mentioned turning pain into purpose mm -hmm. because these paintings are also for, for a wonderful cause. So why don't we talk, chat about that? Yeah, sure. So we started a fund for, um, basically Kyle and Dr. Lim, his oncologist, to help raise awareness and funds for pancreatic cancer research because there's just not enough. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. that is a cancer that's tough to treat mm -hmm. and a lot of researchers have backed off from. Um, but Dr. Kian Lim, uh, through Washington University and Siteman, has continued to study this disease and make headway. So um, my husband was able to get a novel treatment that had never before been in humans. Mm -hmm. And so we've, we've opened a fund so that other patients can also get it um, quicker than if we were to go through the FDA and all that. Um, those loopholes. So purchasing these paintings, 100% yes. of the proceeds. Yes, so what happens is you make a donation. I have a suggested um, donation price for each painting. Mm -hmm. You make a donation to Siteman, um, and then essentially I will be gifting you the painting. That is so wonderful. Thank you so much, Kira, for joining us today. And we have to say, you can even see all of her paintings yes. tonight. That's right. So that's gonna be at the On Good Arts Hotel. Yes. Five to seven, correct? Yes, I will be there from five to seven and they actually will be up for display for the next couple weeks. Okay, so for the next couple weeks, you'll be able to visit, see the artwork for yourself. Uh, you truly are inspiring each and every one of us every single day, so thank you for continuing to share your story and, and, and living out this purpose. I know you're changing lives. Mm, thank you for saying that. Thank you for having me. Of course.